Welcome everybody. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Snow Linux 4, which is another Ubuntu based distribution like Linux Mint. And um, it is using Cinnamon, which is um, a Linux Mint project which uh, creates a new uh, interface for GNOME Shell. So, unlike Linux Mint, Snow Linux is uh, holding true to its Ubuntu roots and it has the Ubuntu Software Center. So naturally if you wanted to uh, download a, a game that's offered um, in the Ubuntu Software Center or let's say you've uh, purchased anything from the Ubuntu Software Center uh, from within Ubuntu, you can go ahead and uh, do that out of the box. Um, just like Linux Mint 15, Olivia, they've got the uh, the updated uh, preferences, so you can go from normal mode to advanced mode, get a few extra options out of it. Uh, if you want to see more about this, go ahead and check out my uh, previous review on Linux Mint. Uh, you can see that they've themed the system uh, to make it white rather than a, a dark gray. I think it looks pretty good. Um, after all, it's Snow Linux, right? But unlike Linux Mint, they're offering up several themes pre-installed. And um, it's also a much smaller um, ISO to download. So you might find it useful to... Hmm. I was seeing if there were some more uh, backgrounds offered, and there probably are, but I'm not going to go hunting for them right now. So, you know, you could go in and and pick different um, themes right off the bat. Now, uh, just really quick, I'm going to refresh my uh, my system here and see if uh, anything else changes. Looks like. The theming stays the same, which is uh, the Cupertino uh, styling. Similar to Linux Mint, it's using the Fainza uh, theme sets. You can, oh, I'm not going to download those now. So, uh, you know, there's uh, basically you could choose uh, Linux Mint go with the Linux uh, Mint model of updating the distribution or stick to uh, Ubuntu. Uh, this is a great distribution if all you want to do is uh, try out um, Cinnamon and don't want to learn a new way of doing things uh, you know if you're uh, transferring from Ubuntu. So it's a wonderful stepping stone and although I've only been using it for a few minutes I could tell that it's just as stable as Linux Mint 15. Uh, it's not without its quirks, but as you can see, it's it's definitely basically the same the same uh, uh, implementation. Now they also have a Mate version, and um, and that's that's pretty much it. Anyway, thanks for watching this video, and uh, see you guys on the next one.